previously on Deutschland. Oh my god! Is that a fire? The bloody farm is on fire! The cows, we have to get the cows out! Oh my god! Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. This is a new ep a new series rather, but it's also a continuation of our other series Deutschland in the sense of adding in the realism and or as much as I can to the gameplay for Farming Simulator 22, but what makes it new is the addition of the Terra Life Plus mod. Now this mod is massive. It changes basically the entirety of the of the game to be honest in the way that it's played in the way that it is uh, the way that you do things the the timing of everything everything is just massively different and so I did a small sort of video on it sort of a not really a preview but just sort of a check it out sort of video and it is so much more than what I showed in that video it's incredible that just kind of shows a very small taste of just how in-depth uh, the entirety of Terra Life Plus is. Now, the, the, the way that this has worked with Deutschland is if you have seen the final episode of Deutschland, there was a bit of a disaster. We had a massive fire on the farm, and uh, as well as the, the fields. Every, we lost everything, everything except for our handy transit uh, van here in front of us. That is all we had left. Now, as far as insurance goes, the they never will pay out what it's worth. So the value of everything on Deutschland, including the farm and the kits and all, was 2.9 million euros. Unfortunately, as you'd expect, we did not get that. We ended up with 1.8 around there. So that's still, you know, uh, still enough to get us started with kit because we have nothing. We have absolutely nothing. We have our van. And we've also paid for our farm and a few fields around the farm to get us started. Now we do have this extra money for, again, for kit and for future potential land as well as animals and all these other things that we need to buy. Now, as you can see with the van being all we have, we are going to be buying kit, probably not all at once. We are at the shop currently, so those tractors there are not our tractors, uh, but I do have sort of a few in mind, uh, n maybe some similarities to Deutschland, but also some things are going to be different. So I think the best thing to do is let's get into our Ford Transit here and we will make our way down to our brand new farm. Now we'll need to access our GPS because I am not familiar with the path to it. Um, as I've never driven there before, at least not from the shop. So let's make our way down to our new farm. Right, we're going to take it nice and easy here. This will give us an opportunity to really have a look at this new map. The map itself, by the way, is the Holzer map. 
So Terra Life Plus, made by the incredible farming agency, including the alien Paul and all, that uh, they the, what they've done is basically there are four maps available for Terra Life Plus, and uh, this is one of them. Now the reason that I opted for this map was it just kind of called to me the most. Uh, the one I would have opted for without question, to be honest, would have been Paligny. However, that is our vintage map. So I didn't want to double dip into maps, even though that would have been the, my map of choice. This map is incredible. And the farm that we have purchased on this map is also incredible. We, uh, we have a bit of diversification as of animals and all, uh, not just cows this time around. Um, we will look at the logistics of feeding them in all capacities, however, I think we're going to start quite small and quite simple because, again, this, this mod allows you to be not so simple <laughs> and quite complex. Um, yeah, we're, we're basically going to learn it as we go and also, uh, you know, sort of teach things as we go. So as we learn bits and bobs about the map and about the mod, we're going to be able to hopefully help others who are also using Terra Life Plus, but I will probably also be requiring a bit of assistance as we progress through the series. Now, speaking of starting a series so close to the beginning, or well, to the release rather, of um, FS25, the beauty of this mod, it allows us a bit more freedom to continue on beyond FS25, because nothing like it will be out for FS25 for, I imagine, some time. Now, when it comes to this mod in the future, maybe we'll have enough of a complete grasp on it before it is released for FS25 so that when it is inevitably or eventually released, then we'll be able to add it to, I'd almost want to say as a base for our, get, for our future series, but that does remain uh, to be seen. Right, so we are we are now seeing on the uh, GPS we have some things coming up ahead here, and we are nearly at our farm. In fact, this is part of it here to the left, and if I'm not mistaken, this is our little sheep pasture. Now, the thing with uh, that I've realised with sheep as well, especially these ones, is that they graze, which is absolutely amazing. Right, so this is actually part of our farm as well. We have some uh, sheds here. We are going to be perusing. I feel that's probably going to be the majority of this first episode, really just kind of digging in to what we actually have at the farm here. We will just turn in here as well. As you can see nearby, we do have some fields that belong to us. But for the most part, we, uh, we still have to venture out and check everything out. So I think for the time being, you know what, let's just park up because this is ours as well. I will uh, open up the map so that we can kind of have an idea of what we're seeing also. I think if we just kind of readjust ourselves and just park it into this uh, small garage. Just right here, should be fine. And just like that. Don't want to hit the wall, of course. Right, there we go. So that should do us. Right, let's get out. Fantastic. Oh, excuse me there, door. Bit, uh, bit stuck on. Right, can't... Oh my gosh, we've actually got ourselves fully stuck here. Let's, uh, let's just hop back in and sort that out. All good things come in time. That includes learning how to uh, drive again, I suppose. As, uh, after all, we did suffer a disaster at the old farm, so it's good to be a bit cautious. Right, there we go, easy as can be. Fantastic. So this is our farm. I really do love the wood and stone of it. Um, just, it looks fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, sort of timber frame there as well. We will get into the farm itself very soon, uh, but immediately, as you can see, with our small uh, GPS there, we do own this field here, which we have access to right here, which is very nice. And as you can also see, we do have some clover grass 
growing. If you also look at the bottom right, you will see that it is growth stage 13 of 28, which in itself, I should really repeat, 13 of 28 growth stages. 28 growth stages. That is mental. I think the most I'm normally used to is six, maybe five. Um, 28. Absolutely mental. So th this is <laughs> this is one of our fields. Obviously, there's nothing we're going to be doing with it for quite some time until it's ready uh, to uh, cut. I imagine we'd probably cut it. We may forage it, but I think we'll focus on hay because the majority of our farm does run on hay as we will be uh, rearing hay milk cows. So that is the plan for the cows. We also have the sheep pasture, as I've mentioned. It will just also go down this way. There is a uh, got that small garden there. We do have another field just over here. We'll just make our way quite quickly down the way. There we go. We have another field here as well. And this one is alfalfa. 14 of 27 growth stage. Uh, we can forage it, it says. But I'm not really seeing much to be foraged. So we are definitely going to let that reach its maximum growth and then we will uh, as I say probably end up uh, cutting it but I'm seeing now that this field does require plowing um, we may want to do that first we might want to do the plowing just to get it dealt with so that we can redrill something as soon as possible we will look at the map and crop calendar in a moment I just want to double check field 53 and see if it also requires plowing. So if, if all these fields require plowing, we might have to use some of our money. Okay, thank goodness for that. Um, at least we've got clover so that we can make something. And then uh, if we really need to, we can plow up the alfalfa field. And I will probably re-drill alfalfa in, but we'll see what works uh, for us. So we can just remove those to enter our other alfalfa field which also requires some plowing it's not quite as advanced as the other one by one growth stage but nevertheless i think it would be wise to do that now if it comes down to it we have to buy some hay to start i understand uh, but this i do feel we are really going to focus on grass work versus arable so the arable side of things may not be something we do straight away uh, which is fine. That does save us quite a bit of cash on kit. But we shall just have to wait and see. Right. So I think the best thing to do would be to look at the map now. <coughs> right. Let's just zoom out here and see our little patch of land right here. We do own field 51, 53 and 54. We also own farm land, I believe 122, yes, this is 122. So as you can see, we've got sheep, which is really nice. And uh, and yes, there you go, that's the name of the farm, uh, Gundishhof, which uh, is, uh, yeah, that's Schwafwed. I really don't know German, I'm not going to butcher it any more than I uh, can do or should. Um, and then, yeah, as you can see, so we've got sheep and we've got all of these different, there's so many different little... Um, uh, cow marks there, but we will see what they are. So we have a calf hut as well. Let's just mosey on actually and see uh, what we're looking at. So let's pop through here. Right, okay, so this is good. So this, right, there's our milk. This looks like some kind of blower as well, which would be very handy. Oh, is this a. Let me open this. Oh, that is wicked. Okay, so that is obviously our one of our cow barns down there. And being that they are hay milk cows, they do require hay, exactly. Which is why we're going to focus on uh, the grass work more than anything else, really. Because uh, then we can cut and dry grass or clover or alfalfa, making hay, which will allow us to feed the animals. In this case, the cows and the sheep. Although I do believe, so we do have a grazing mod integrated and much of Maze Plus is also integrated into this map. Uh, so we will have to look at all that and the logistics of it all in time. 
got nice, I believe that's just a storage area just by looking at it, but this is quite interesting. So if I'm not mistaken, this is a, uh, a, a dryer. So we can actually bring, yes, very good. So we can actually bring all of these various things in and get, well, their dried equivalent. So the hay equivalent of uh, grass, semi-dry, pasture, pasture grass, horse grass, herb grass, field clover, clover grass, and alfalfa. So we do have a uh, clover grass uh, field that we don't have to plow up. And we will eventually have alfalfa as well. Um, but as you can see, we do have all these options here for hay. Now, I'm sure some of them will work with the cows, but some may not. So that is something else we will find in time. So I'll go back to the map here and see that, uh, yeah, it's a bit convoluted seeing all the things. We do have a water hose as well, and uh, that's the, the farm itself, I believe. We will just visit this. All right, this is probably our, yes, our lovely house. Right, so that brings us to this side. So we do have a fair amount of storage, to be honest. And then this here is another door to our animal farm. Well, to our cow barn. So we'll just get that closed and see for this one. As you can see, we've got room for 30 uh, cows here and many different kinds of cows. We've got the red pied cows. We've got our Holsteins as well as our Simmental cows. And, uh, and then we do have the bull equivalent of them all as well. Look at the price of a bull. Bloody Nora. We're definitely going to be starting with um, maybe not calves because calves require mother's milk. And I'd like to get that from the mother cows themselves. So we'll probably end up going for a heifer and a bull or even just going for the cows themselves, letting them reproduce and then looking at purchasing a bull in the future to allow for that reproduction. We can get uh, veterinary assisted reproduction, but I'd like to do it uh, au natural if possible. Right, here's just another storage area leading at two. So I'm seeing some wool here. Possibly we will get wool uh, um, that will spawn here. We do have this little area as well. I imagine this is, yeah, sort of a, uh, a calf pen, more than likely not, or at least some sort of an in-between, or we can even put a few bulls in there. It really depends on what food goes into it. Most likely uh, some calf food. Right, there's our, our grate from before, so we can drop our hay bales in from up there, or even just loose hay as well, which is very handy to have. Right, and then this leads back up to that area, which is also nice right there. Brilliant. So we'll just get that closed for now. We'll head back down the stairs. Yeah, this is definitely going to be primarily a uh, sort of a tour of the place first. I don't know what we can actually get started with, to be honest, other than potentially buying uh, some some, ba some bales, really. But, uh, but we shall see. Actually, a, a plow would be really good. Okay, so that brings us out here as well. Yeah, I think a plow and getting that sorted would be the best. We also do need to buy field information for all of our fields, uh, which we can do as well this month or this episode. Speaking of the months, let's look at the calendar because it does not work similarly to FS at all in the sense that see how everything is so staggered and you really don't have all that much time. However, if I'm remembering correctly, the months are, uh, or the weeks rather, it's broken up a year is like four, is it 48 weeks? I have to get all my facts lined up uh, for that. Uh, do forget that number exactly, but yes, it is, it is very, it is very, very complex in that sense. So that's why we're really going to start focusing on alfalfa, clover, things like that, that have a nice uh, drilling period. We've got loads of time to get it sorted. And then uh, hopefully by the time it's ready to harvest, we are also ready to harvest it. But yeah, as you can see, plethora of various things that we can do. Uh, orchard grass as well. So these are things that, that, that we can't actually grow, but they are available, meaning that there are, I mean, how many types of grass alone right here do you know what i mean it's just mental absolutely mental we do have a new animal menu as well obviously no animals as of yet but this gives us an idea of what we actually do have so we do have our two sort of main uh areas one of these may be a pasture and one is the actual shed itself and then we do have these small uh, carving huts 
So that would be when they are fresh, fresh calves. This one here, I'm not sure what, uh, what that means. Um, Ab Calibre box, maybe that's for calves as well. Maybe calf bull calves, perhaps. So we've got so much room for so many different animals, but we're not going to overextend ourselves early on because that might uh, ruin the experience of it all because we do really have lots on. That being said, I'm not too certain if I'm going to run in uh, five, at five times speed or 10. The reason I say 10 or even possibly 15 is because there are just so many months and so many um, times. As you can see, it says two and then WE April. Now, that very well could mean the day itself and we are still in year one of course but anyways as i say we are going to be learning as we go so i don't want to overburden uh anything really because yeah it is a lot it is really a lot and um, let's go round. let's go around this way again and we'll go and finish oh get out of here bird right we've got another nice little storage here as well uh, can put a bit of kit in there nice path down there so we do on that it would be nice to look at the other fields that we can buy in the future uh, maybe ones that don't require plowing straight away so that we can have enough hay but uh, i really do like the fields that we have i think they're perfect uh, for our farm so here's a nice basic storage shed and uh, then we've got like a little bit of a carport or a lean-to sort of thing and uh and then here we go we've got our sheep so i think that's where we can feed them but let's have a look and see how many sheepies we can fit in here 30. oh maybe i was reading one of these as the sheep that's my mistake yeah one of these must be for the sheep then right that is this first one okay so this first one is sheep now i want to take a bit of a chance and buy some sheep to see if they can start grazing here but i have to i don't know if it, this must be for water actually and not food because i if i'm not mistaken they they only will graze i don't i don't know if there is a way again i did a a, a small bit of testing beforehand but i really wanted to just kind of go in and learn it as we go because i feel that for me is the best way to learn something i could study something a thousand times and forget it the next day that's just how i learn but in this case i think learning as we go would be the best because then people can uh, again you, you can you can provide your your insight or you can learn something as well as we as we learn so yeah it goes down there as well so we've got uh, we've got sheep well, we don't have sheep yet, but we will definitely get some. And uh, we will get also get an animal trailer so that we can go and buy some sheep. But I feel as though I really want to start, maybe, maybe at least look at the logistics of buying uh, a plow. But before we do that, let's go to this area here just to see. So we do have these three fields. How much would it be to buy the information for right so that one's just under 2000 euro that one's 1750 and that one is also 1750 right so that has done something now we can have a look at what kind of soil type we can expect right of course nitrogen ph is all going to be a little bit uh, you know wary or whatever but uh, it's all loam nearly all of it is loam uh, silty clay we've got a little bit on this side but for the most part it is loamy fields which I don't think it's all that bad but we will find out once we start uh, fertilizing and drilling and all those things now there's even more than just the actual f crop types and growth stages but there is a bit of extra kit involved as well that was included in the in the uh, in the assets part of Terra Life Plus because it's not just Terra Life Plus the mod there are additional mods you add on to increase, essentially increase the overall complexity in gameplay and, and uh, uh, you know, like I say, with mod, with kit and all that as well. So there's lots going on, very much going on. It's, it's a, it is rather overwhelming, which is why I want to really do uh, take my time. So we do have our soil information purchased. I think it would be wise to buy some kit um tractors and 
a, well, at least a tractor and a plow. I think we should start with that, and then we'll be able to kind of see how we get on with things. Uh, but right, we can see here expected yield is looking all right, which means that the uh, the fields themselves are fairly... Oh, good. That is good. Yeah, loam is the way to go. Look at how much of a difference. That very small section of silty clay, how much it affects it. That's a 6% decrease. Well, 6% 6 from the other ones that are fully loam, right? Whereas this one has 11% silty clay and it affects the potential yield by quite a bit. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Right, what I think we'll do is we'll mosey on down to the shop and then we'll have a look at a tractor to get us started. All right, well, here we are at the shop. Now, what I'm thinking of doing, so let's just park up, actually. What I was thinking of doing is, because I'm not doing any sort of uh, tabbing of any kind, and if I do, I apologize, I will immediately rectify it out of habit and all. I think there's a mod for it, but I should be all right without it. I did it only a handful of times on... Um, Deutschland as well so well not even actually anyways here we are at the farm what I'd like to do is look at the logistics of a runaround vehicle as well now I have added in a couple of mods but again it was I've just kind of added in a lot I haven't fully curated much of them so there might be some um, some from Deutschland some new ones some from another series as well so we shall see right now um, let's look in the sale first off bloody hell we absolutely <laughs> don't need that uh, that's quite the tractor, but we are not even close. Uh, we're definitely going to be leaning into the small tractors, and actually, that uh, that picture there is a bit of a nice nice uh, indication of what I'd like to start with. But before we buy a tractor, I do want to look at... Is it in here? Right, okay, well, that's not what I was thinking of, but we do have this as well. If we really need a, a sort of a, a vehicle for, you know, bobbing around the farm, that would be kind of neat, but... Let's look also, because I'd like to look into, like, a side-by-side. -side. Like, so, yeah, some, even something like this would be perfect. So we do have, like, the John Deere and all that, and the Kubota and all, but I don't know. I quite like the uh, this little little case here. Do we have... Oh, we do have other options. The Lizard version. The New Holland Rustler. Oh, I quite like that, actually. Yeah, let's go with that. The New Holland Rustler. So this, the nice thing is, yes, it only goes 40 kph. But we can use it on the farm for uh, small amounts of, well, as you see, it's got a small capacity in the back of 650. So we can use it for that. Uh, it does have a hitch as well. So if we need a small water trailer that we don't want to attach to the um, to the van, for example, this would be good. And it's so inexpensive as well. So I think that would be a very cool thing to get. Um, we can, oh wow, we can also put three point, which I think is a bit excessive for it. That might be a bit too much. Um, we are, let's go for standard two, just give a bit extra height on there. Uh, do we want a roof? Yes, we'll get, because then that does have the beacon. And if we are uh, transporting, then I think that would be for the best. Uh, bumper wise, it might be good to have, you know what, let's just kit it out. It's still under 10,000. So why not? And it looks good, and I don't often buy these kinds of vehicles, but that's what I want to do with this series, is get things that I wouldn't normally get because they add immersion or they add realism or things like that. Because you would have something like this on a farm, whether it's to run down to the shop or run back from the shop or run around the farm. I reckon that makes sense. And if it doesn't, well, so be it, and let me know. But I think so. I think that looks quite good. It's a bit cheeky having the plate covered there, but we do have one on the back as well. So let's go ahead and uh, buy this. Let's do that's our first official purchase here from the shop on the holes of map with Terra Life Plus, and it looks absolutely wicked. So let's uh, let's just hop in. We don't have to worry about any sort of um, about uh, any interactive controls because there are no doors to open. <laughs> so that's good. But we do have our beacon, uh, which you can see right there really nice this give it a little test spin round uh, what I think we might have to do is buy a trailer in fact we could probably just buy the same one that we had before that was very handy uh, for buying uh, pallets and such um, and then we can load this onto it so let's just park it out of the way for now uh, because I would also like to buy a tractor so maybe what we can do is put the trailer on the tractor for now and then take that down and then uh, we can come back 
with the well we'll sort it out anyway so let's get the beacon off let's get the engine off but we do have a new bit of kit so let's look now at the trailers uh well let's look here first low loaders right so nothing in here where was it it's, it must be in misc yeah i think that's the one so that's what we had um so yeah as you can see there are going to be some new things these are all uh, additional things added in with the terra life plus mods um they're probably as more as well but uh yeah we'll have to just go through and see but we i do have some very cool mods that i would like to uh, use in this series Let's look at trailers though, because I want to see, I think that one that we had is the best. And I think, actually, that our little, yeah, see there's another Terra Life Plus, so it's a basically a yellow equivalent of the big red that we're used to in FS. Um, and then I've got nice uh, loads of trailers, different things like that. So yeah, we've got loads of cool options in the future, but let's get our Bachman trailer sorted. And we'll get that switched to something different as well go to um yeah go on then quite like those match the van a bit better and purchase for eight thousand like i say this also is very nice for transporting uh, pallets and such is that gonna fit well, i think it'll fit nicely very nicely right let's hop into the van we'll get connected to that at the very least we can take this to the farm as well or just even get it set up um because we do want to Oh, actually, you know what? No, let's leave the van here. And, uh, yeah. I'm sorting out, because this is a very far way to walk. So we don't, we're not going to be walking from the the shop. That would be mental. But I think we, uh, we should look at the logistics of the tractor. Let's do the tractor. I'm just too excited. I'm all over the place. This is episode one is always hectic with any series, um, but these are our options. So we did have the for small tractors on the farm. We had so we did have the MB track, which I'm very tempted to buy again. I quite liked it, even if we fully kitted out or it could just be a smaller one as well. But I, I do quite like it. Uh, however, I I am very tempted to get um, a styrin, but not that one. There was a different one that I wanted to... Oh, that might be actually the one. I have to confirm, but this one... No, this is the same that we had. And I think the one I'm on about is slightly different. It might be a medium one. Because uh, we also had the Fent. Now, this is a powerhouse, but I have decided that we just don't need that much power. We really, really don't, and uh, I do want to look at other options, um, including, yeah, some of the, the Masseys and that. Um, but no, the styrene question that I was thinking of is not here. I will have to confirm that I have the right one. I might have the wrong one. Either way, I really want to look at a Massey, and that's what we're going to do. So we are going to go for the 5S2023 this one here i don't think we want need the low the low profile cab um how much low profile is it what does that mean exactly right so it's it's heavier right it's just lower to the ground isn't it i don't think that's necessarily something we need i think we'll go for the big one because yeah this it's not a massive tractor but at 145 it should be able to handle should uh, be able to handle the plow no problem because we're not going to be getting a very big plow either so let's i'm going to buy this tractor either way for the farm because it just looks mint and uh, i haven't used the 5s in a long time so let's yeah we might as well fully kit it out at 145 uh, i don't know if it'll be our biggest tractor but it's going to be our biggest tractor to start uh, let's get those bkts oh they are quite nice those ones is that with a weight on that? Yeah. We'll go um, with the plow. Actually, yeah, if we are plowing, you know what? Let's let's put the weight in. Let's put the weights in. We can always remove them. It's not really a big, big problem. Uh, we don't need a whole lot of extra kit in there. Uh, mud guards would be nice to have. Uh, yes, please. I would love a roof. Oh, I see. 
Now we'll just go standard for now as well. Uh, the fenders, well, we don't need them wide. Uh, no, it does look better as such. If we do get some dual wheels or something, then we will. Uh, beacons, let's go. Yeah, let's go for the LEDs. I'm sure they'll look lovely. Uh, screens, we don't need any extra screens. No GPS equipment. Uh, warning, no. Us driving, it is warning enough. <laughs> Attaches, so we can get three-point linkage on the front, which we m actually really should do. Yeah, because we'll need a weight if we're plowing, absolutely. This weight is just to help with the plow in the back. This one will help so that the plow doesn't end up all the way back and the front end up. Front loader attacher, I don't think I will, because I think I'll get a proper telehandler. Uh, one that we can also use uh, interactive control with, because that is something I want to be able to use with all of my kit. Maybe not the harvesters, they are a bit more difficult to come across an interactive control harvester. But if you have one that you know of, please do let me know. Right, there we go. Interactive control is what we will opt for. We'll keep the massy colors intact. We'll change this round, get one on the front, and we're all set. What a gorgeous looking tractor. Brilliant third purchase of the series. So let's go ahead and buy that for just under 100,000. And let's check it out. Because I think what I'd like to do is, um, I think we'll use the tractor to bring our little runaround vehicle back actually no it would make more sense to take the van yeah because then we'll get the plow but look at that it looks so good and we have interactive controls on it which is absolutely amazing let's get it fired up we'll take it for a little spin around the the uh shop yard here Oh, it looks good. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to have that uh, pano roof. If you are adding a front loader on, it would be very, uh, very nice to have. Oh, yes, this will be such a nice tractor for us as well. Right, okay, let's get this tucked to the side for now. What we're going to do is we are going to buy the plow and bring it to the farm, but we're going to do that in a moment. Yeah, I don't want to overextend this first episode more than I uh, the more than I should, but I do want to get as much in as I can without actually getting any f field work done, I suppose. And what is that? That puts the... Uh, oh, wow. That is very nice. Look at that. Okay, let's get that closed up now. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We'll buy the plow when we come back, but here's what we'll do first. Let's get this connected. So we'll hop in. So we'll get uh, we'll get lined up nice here with the trailer. Can't really see where it is, so let's just go around like this. There we go. It's, it tucks it in quite close there, doesn't it, to the uh, the side. That should be good. Just about there, maybe. Right. Let's just hop out. That's another thing with my uh, Deutschland series as well. It, is, it was slow paced. This will be very similarly slow paced. So uh, heads up if you're looking for action packed, massive fields, thousands, hundreds of thousands of liters of crop and all that. That's not unfortunately uh, what you're going to be getting in this series. Uh, but it will be slow paced, nice and enjoyable. No pressure, none of that. Uh, very complex though, to be completely honest, but not too much so where it uh, makes it unenjoyable, if that makes sense. Because I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, uh, of doing any sort of series that I'm just not enjoying, you know? Doesn't make sense, because then you won't enjoy it if I don't enjoy it, right? And we'll get that on there like that. Should be good about there, actually. Let's hop out. That is pretty well perfect. We'll get that strapped in nice and tight. That is wicked. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to... Should make certain that that's down. Yes, it is. You can see there we're all set now to go. So let's let's get going. So essentially we're going to go to the farm. And then we'll come back here with our little runaround vehicle. And then we can buy our plow. And attach it to the tractor. And then take the tractor and the plow back to the farm.
All right, home, sweet home. And I'm quite proud of myself because I managed to get all the way here without our GPS, which is very, very nice. So, right, let's get that all sorted. Get it unloaded as well. We'll get those straps undone. And you know what? I have to be honest. This um, this van with this trailer is a really nice setup. I, I find that some trailers, they tend to be... Um, very unstable with uh, or vehicles rather as well very very unstable with a trailer on especially if something's loaded on the back like our little New Holland rustler here but it this is solid it's always been solid as well so very happy about that let's just get that uh, trailer loaded back get the engine shut off get that closed and there we go so there's probably a good chance that a few of the trips I make to the uh, the farm and that and to the shop will be uh, jump cuts just because we I'll focus the I mean well maybe not all of them because this map is quite is quite lovely I have to be honest um, we'll probably do a bit of a, an aerial peruse throw the drone up if you will uh, when we when before the end of the episode so that we can get a nice overview of our entire farm because we've barely touched the surface on that as well. Um, and then I think, yeah, that would be a, a good thing for us to do. Another thing I'd like to consider is even a, a second runaround vehicle, maybe like, like a very small, maybe even a, like a bicycle. As silly as that sounds, I, I feel like this would be the, a really interesting sort of map for that. Um, but we shall see, we shall see. And again, any suggestions for the series, please do let me know because this one is going to be very, um, very open-ended and as interactive as I can make it as well. Because um, I'd love to hear your suggestions. Uh, honestly, the comments are loaded always with such good suggestions and ideas and advice as well. And uh, just generally good commentary and I really appreciate it all the time. So um, if you haven't had a, a thanks for your comment sort of reply from me, um, then, uh, well, I don't think you haven't because I usually reply to all the comments that I can. But nevertheless, even if they're cheeky, you know, because I know I'm cheeky. So if you're trying to be cheeky, I'll just out cheek you. But <laughs> please do comment your suggestions, uh, your opinions, your comments below as well. Because um, I always I always like to see them. Some people have some really good ideas. And something as simple as, and I still can't get over this, but something as simple as, oh, if you're struggling with this, why don't you why don't you change it to selling in the production? Like little things like that that are base game farming simulator that I just forget sometimes. And uh, it's very nice to have. Here, let's get a bit of a, a drone view from behind with our new rustler. Look at that. We are making our way got the beacon on the Sun is shining it's April we don't have any animals yet but we will soon and we'll definitely have nice chats with them as well especially with the sheepies the cows we know talk a lot well so do the sheep to be honest but right well I wanted to make this journey without a jump cut because I had just talked about jump cutting my shop journeys but I wanted to see how kind of how long and how far I believe this is the turn here um, how long and how far it is to get to the shop from the farm with this and that really wasn't all that bad because here we are brilliant right so I'll get this parked up just out of the way and uh, so it's nice to keep it here I suppose if we need we can always access this with the van and just bring it back when we need it or whatever it might be ideal if we can plan trips uh, to having to buy something while coming back for this that would be the best uh, but for now we are going to bring our Massey back to the farm we do need a weight as well actually so I think we'll first get a up the plow see how heavy it is did one show up in the sale yet no not lucky enough for us let's go to plows plows oh my goodness plows and uh, so we do have a few options here so 160 oh no there was one in particular yes our cavernlin here the be6 it is a three meter plow very small 12 kph very slow but it is a plow it's only three ton which is not bad for a plow i mean that's 
seven. I guess that's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's about average actually for a, for a three meter plow. That's not too bad. Uh, so that is the one we will buy and 120 horsepower. So if for some reason our 145 horsepower Massey struggles, then we will absolutely uh, have to invest in another tractor, which is fine. I feel like that uh, is more secure. More uh, nuts holding on the wheel. I think that's fine. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go ahead and buy this. So I know that it's uh, a three ton plow, but it does not mean that we need a three ton weight. So let's look at weights and see. I think we would best be best to opt for... I mean, even the 650 could be good. Anything bigger than that might be trouble. Um, I might go with this one because we're not going to be using it as a rear weight. So maybe that 750 would be good. So let's go for that. Um, we'll just keep it. Yeah, it's going to be extra cash anyways. And purchased. Right, so that is exciting. So we do have our first bit of kit here, which is very nice. Things seem to spawn very closely together. That may be problematic but let's let's hop in here and see oh that's class that is brilliant right get that closed for now we are going to need to uh, open it up again but right let's go and get this weight on get the plow on and then we'll head back to the farm shortly right. oh nice okay nearly there just not to uh, crash into too much all right let's have a look and see oh brilliant yes no problems at all uh, let's get this raised up though move away from the plow all right now normally i would uh, i would name a series after the map but this is a special exception in many cases because um, it's not just a map that we're experiencing but it's an entire bloody mod so that is quite a quite a thing so that's why the series as i've decided is going to be called uh, terra life plus instead of holza um, just because again having the uh, having the mod as the focus we're just using this map uh, as the bonus so let's just ensure that we have it all folded up. Okay, I think... Right, so that's folded up for driving purposes, which is good. That's what we want. Okay, let's close that. We'll get the beacons on, our LEDs. Let's have a look at this whole setup here. It looks really good. I think, I think this will be a, a really nice little plowing machine. But uh, we will find out, certainly... Uh, when we start to actually use it but what i'll do now is i'll head over to the farm and as i say we will have a bit of a uh, aerial view of the farm before we pop off but uh, i will make the jump cut to the farm so we'll see you there in a moment all right so we have arrived back at the farm now i just want to find no that field was fine it was this field here that requires a plowing if i'm not mistaken um should probably just confirm before we get in i do want to get into the field though uh so that we can be ready for the next episode and get started straight away um this is the only one that doesn't require plowing so it is the one back there so we'll actually just have to reverse a bit uh with the plow it can be very very difficult to do but that's fine i'm sure we can manage Ooh, that's very yeah this is quite tight yeah i think the fent would have just been a bit too big we can look also though at the smaller body styles for the fent but uh, but i think i'd like to experience some other tractors instead to be completely honest but look at that we've managed it so now we'll go down here i think we'll do this one first because it is the smaller of them um in fact we can actually just park up right there get that beacon off we will shut the engine as well till we are here next time um i'll probably be running at a different time speed next episode probably five to start 
and then uh, we'll even 10 just to get going but yes we are going to get into this straight away which means we'll also be buying a drill very soon as well whether with whether using it with the Massey or not my look at that it just looks beautiful just like that Oh, it's fantastic. Right. As promised, though, uh, we will do a bit of a fly up into the air. So let's do that right now. And here we go. Get that drone loaded up. Right. So this here is our farm. This is our farmyard here. There's well, the whole the whole farm basically is here. As you know, we've got the sheep just over on this side here. We'll be well, we don't have them yet, as I've said, but we'll probably end up getting them fairly soon. And then uh, we also own that field right there. And uh, the majority of the cow. I don't, as far as I know, we don't own a pasture land yet, uh, except for the sheep. Of course, the cows will be in here. That there is a field, that is also a field. I believe in the middle of those two fields is uh, a pasture. So where that little sort of building is there with that little garden. I think that's a cow pasture land. I don't uh, know if I'll buy a pasture straight away. I want to keep the cows sort of here. They do have uh, outside bits and all. So we do want to keep them outside at times also. We don't want to keep them inside all the time. Because uh, we do want them to be able to graze. So if we don't own a pasture land, we probably will buy one before we buy cows. But I think sheep will be what we will start with just to get a nice start on things. So yes, this field here uh, does require a plowing. It is alfalfa. I reckon I will re-drill it as alfalfa. I am going to do the first maybe year or two potentially as strictly no arable. Not, not a no arable policy, but if we do need arable... Because we'll probably need straw as well. So we want some kind of arable, but we can also buy straw. Um, I don't want to do I don't want to do full arable farming just for the straw. Um, because we yeah, we just we could sell the grain, I suppose, but then we do have to buy a harvester and many other things. So we will probably focus on grass work specifically or alfalfa or clover. There's so many different kinds of grass now. Uh, and then yeah, of course we have our field of clover grass to the left ready to just go we do have to lime it and give it some uh, fertilizer love as well and then on the right we have uh, another alfalfa field but we've got the Massey ready to plow and um, I I think I remember how to how to plow properly but if I do it wrong someone will say something so you might as well say something now so that I know for next time <laughs> that will really help me out actually and uh, and that's pretty much it so we'll just get a view uh, from here again, but yeah, you can see nearby where a few of the fields are that would be beneficial for the farm now that, that one over there There's a small one there. I think might actually be a, a pasture land as well um, But we will see how it all goes. But yes, we have that lovely Massey there in view and uh, here. Let's just go It's a shame we can't have not have that uh, field information there, but that's fine we will have this in view and we will sign off right here. That looks lovely. So, I know this has been a lot all at once, but also not very much. We do have officially our first tractor at least, along with a bit of extra other kit that uh, will really help, as I say, add in immersion, add in the, um, the, the realism to the series that I'm looking for. And of course, with the addition of Terra Life Plus, the uh, the whole thing is new and exciting and complex and just all that really just all all those things and I'm looking forward to uh, experiencing it with you in this series so I do hope you've enjoyed the video this is just the beginning so any comments any suggestions always help I greatly appreciate them I do read every comment and uh, again even if it is cheeky I don't mind um, but if you're going to be you know cr criticize things have some constructive criticism to back it up or it's just you're just a church bell and you're making noise for no reason anyways if you've enjoyed the video a cheeky thumbs up always helps out the channel and if you're new to the channel please subscribe so until the next one please do take care and bye for now